What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna be answering a really common and popular question I get asked. Um, I probably get asked this question on a daily basis in fact, which is what is a good niche? Can you recommend a niche? What is a profitable niche? What is a winning niche? Um, and so on. And it's a really tough answer to question. It's a really tough question to answer because it depends on many different things. It depends on your own circumstances and goals. So I wanted to record this video to give you an answer to go through those different options. So once you've finished watching this video, then you'll have a clearer view, a clearer vision um, of exactly what kind of niches you need to be looking at and why. So I can fully understand why people ask this question. It's a really important question to have the answer to, um, especially in the beginning. You want to take that time to kind of think about what it is you want to achieve, how fast you want to re achieve it and so on, what sort of business you want to run. So I can fully understand why people ask it. It's a really important question, hence why um, I want to record this video. So there's two ways to kind of answer this question and ultimately it comes down to what your goals are and how fast you want to achieve them. So for example, if you wanted to set something up as quickly as possible and start seeing sales come in as quickly as possible and make as much money as quickly as possible, and then your answer, the route, the niche you choose is going to be different versus the person who wants to go into something they're passionate about, they want to build a brand around it, and they realize it's going to take a couple of years maybe to build that brand before they can start seeing some decent return. They like and enjoy posting content around that certain niche and ultimately this is what they want to be doing full-time um, running a business perhaps bringing in goods in the future having a unit um, or using a fulfillment center etc so starting with the latter then if you are that person who has a really significant interest in a particular niche or topic whether it's a sport or pets or travel whatever it is then my advice to you would be to just choose something you are passionate about one of those things and start building a brand um, posting some content putting together um, like a brand in Scheme with different colors, different logos, etc. And regardless of what products are available within that certain niche, just go into that niche because ultimately in the long run, you're going to find it a lot more enjoyable and things that you find enjoyable, you will naturally put more time into. And the more time you put into your business and the better chance of success you have. Now, yes, to get to that point where you might be able to take a full-time income from it um, probably will take longer versus the next method which I'm going to discuss but like I said when you do get to that point it will be much more enjoyable it's really difficult to stick with something that you just don't enjoy doing take it from me in the beginning I sold a whole different range of products products that I weren't proud to say I sold they were nothing dodgy or legal nothing like that but they were things that I had no interest in personally and when it came to writing product descriptions or email templates um, I really struggled because I didn't really I struggled to understand what a potential customer would be thinking about certain products because I didn't have that in, didn't have that interest whereas if I take a niche like golf for example I could write about different golf products for the rest of my life because I've played golf for many years I have friends who are golfers and so on and so forth so I know the kind of things they look for I know the kind of words that they use the kind of language they speak so to say so if that is the kind of business that you're picturing in your mind then that would be my recommendation um, find a niche find a subject that you're passionate in regardless of what products they are if you build up a big enough following um, of people then you will sell those products regardless because other people who are also interested in that niche and those products will buy them um, and if you have a larger enough social media following you'll be super profitable too because the majority of your traffic will be organic coming from your socials so in the long run you'll have a business that sustains itself really well um, and really easily because it'll be super profitable now going over to the other side then if that doesn't kind of attract you or doesn't really kind of um, excite you very much then the other option is to just focus on what's selling so the first option was to build a brand pick a niche regardless of what it is just pick something you're passionate about have an interest in and so on and then the other option of this if you want to see results faster um, see those sales come through through the door quicker then your other option is just to focus on what's selling and it's not so much where well, it's not at all really it's not a case of actually picking a niche so do not limit yourself to a niche do not pick a niche and then try and find products within that niche at this point if you're just trying to make as much money as fast as possible then the niche is irrelevant to you it solely comes down to the individual the specific product to give you an example then of how this is so true is that if you go into the dog niche within the dog niche i know it's a stereotypical example but there's so many different products 
and just because the dog niche is a good niche but just because it is a good niche it doesn't mean that every product within a niche is good it doesn't matter what niche you go into it's going to have good products and it's going to have bad products some that sell well um, at different times of year and some that sell bad at different times of year let's give you an example of this then if we take the dog niche um, we have led dog collars um, typically this product sells not typically definitely this product sells well during the winter months um, q4 um, up until probably kind of early March time um, here in the UK anyway obviously the nights are dark they're shorter um, in which case there's a bigger demand for the products you only have to go on to Google Trends put LED dog color and you'll clearly see the spikes in popularity for that product um, if you try and sell this product through summer which I tried to do my very first year um, it was just dead as a door now I just couldn't sell them whatsoever and I ended up having a ton of stock left over um, in which I had to pay for storage for about six months until they started selling again in the other hand if we take the dog cool mats so it's a mat that your dog can lie on and it keeps it cool um, during this same period again they're pretty much dead as a doornail um, dog owners pet owners aren't buying these particular products because it's pretty cool pretty cold outside anyway whereas during the summer months um, this product just flies off the shelves because it's warm here in the UK um, for about two weeks anyway um, and people have a requirement and again if you do the Google Trends search for the dog cool mat you'll see um, the clear spikes um, and downfalls of the popularity behind a specific product so the point I'm trying to make here is do not limit yourself to a niche do not pick a niche because you've seen it in a video or you've seen it in a Facebook group and think that's a good niche all the products within that niche are going to be good as well um, that just isn't the case it all comes down to what time of year it is what the current trends are um, and what the actual specific and individual product is and with that being said then I think that pretty much just covers everything I wanted to mention in this video um, there's no need to make it any longer than it needs to be so just a very quick recap um, two routes if you're super passionate about a specific topic um, and you want to go into something then just choose that niche and go for it regardless focus on building a following bringing in influencers creating content having a really nice branded website perhaps even private labeling some products if you can afford it but just expect results to be slower versus the second method of just simply choosing a specific product not niche the niche is irrelevant just go with a specific product that is in demand use Google Trends you sell the trend use the Aliexpress drop shipping center um, check out some of my product research videos where I do actually go into full detail and show you a few different methods um, of actually finding trend in products and with that being said then guys I'm going to wrap it up um, thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do make sure you leave a like on the video any comments questions video suggestions whatever they are just simply post them down below um, I read every single comment so I will get back to you um, finally please do make sure you subscribe as well if you want to see more of my videos um, and before you go then one final thing if you are looking for a course that will take you through absolutely everything you need to know um, in terms of building a business on Shopify including picking niches picking products etc um, then please do check out my ecom academy there's tons and tons of content in it all original um, and it comes with my full support and guidance as well so like I said check out the link in the video description below if you're interested and apart from that I will see you in the next video